first things first. We need to clean this out. Much better. So I know some of you guys are thinking to yourself, Perry, why is your camera quality look like all of a sudden a lot shittier and very, you know, granulated or whatever you got camera people want to call it? Well, I got some bad news for you guys. I lost my GoPro. Over the weekend, I went over to Lake Okeechobee to support CG hog hunters while they fished in a bass tournament. And then after that, well, that was on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I headed over to Fort Myers to go check that place out. Ended over at Cap Captivia Beach or Captiva. I'm not really sure how to say it. One of those two. Anyway, I'm swimming in the beach, filming, having a good time. Uh, I have my GoPro with me, I'm getting some cool underwater footage. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever been to Captiva, but there's this place called Bathtub Beach or something like that. And there's this kind of like this uh, rip current river that rips through the beach. And I was crossing that. I wasn't really anticipating how strong the current was actually going to be. I had my GoPro in my hand and the current just ripped it right out. And uh, I spent the next like two hours just, you know, searching for that GoPro diligently. You know, just going up, going down, going up, going down, you know, running out of breath every time. I was just exhausting myself. And finally, I just, I, I gave up and, you know, I, I was defeated, to say the least, defeated. I, I was, I was tired. I was emotional. I was a lot of things. So now we're back here, home base, gopro -less. And unfortunately, I had like three hours worth of footage on that GoPro. You know, I went over to Lake Okeechobee and did a stealth camping at the Roland Martin Marina. That was going to be a video in itself. And then I did some stealth camping in Fort Myers on uh, Sanibel Beach, Sanibel Island. And that was going to be a video. So I had two videos for you guys. Gonna, I was going to drop back to back. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen because... Not only did I lose the GoPro, but I lost the SD card too. But what I figured what we could do, since we're back back at home base now, and over the weekend I did end up getting a bunch of new stuff for the SUV for me living in it. I figured I'll just go over a little, you know, overview, you know, review of what we have in here and what I'm working with. And so you guys can, you know, get inspired to go do the same thing. So first things first, I have my sleeping bag here. I usually spread that all the way out back there once I'm ready to go to sleep. I got my fishing poles right here. And when I do go to sleep, I take my fishing poles and put them on this side. The only reason I don't put them on this side during the day is because I don't want to be my fishing poles like hit, hit my elbow while I'm driving and everything. So I keep them on this side until I'm ready to go to sleep. I got uh, what's in here? Oh, some shampoo, deodorant, a comb. I usually keep my toothbrush and toothpaste in here, but uh, since we're back at home base, I got, got them inside. Uh, I got an empty water bottle, a tire repair kit, just in case I get a flat tire. My pillow, another pillow, a really crappy cooler, I'm not going to lie. This thing barely holds any kind of coldness, so I got to get a new cooler. I got my hats, some backpacks, my tackle box. Uh, we're not gonna do a tackle review. Maybe that's a whole nother video. All right, let's go over here. Down here in this corner, I got all my stuff to put over my windows when it's time to go to sleep. Like this is the reflector that I put on the front window. And these are like the curtains I put on the side windows. Yada, yada, yada. I got some rope back there and some more just random tools all right right here is some clothes some spare clothes i'm gonna put some more in here once i leave but i'll need to do that right now right now i got dry dry food goods and just like random stuff like uh this is to put on my propane tank <clears throat> oil sugar forks spoons etc I got paper towels. Uh, this is just kind of like a random box right here that I can store things in. As you see, there's just a random mass things. I got, you know, tiki fuel, tiki torch fuel, goggles, pot, cutting boards, etc. I got a chair here, so if I'm ever, 
you know, if I make it to a park or ever I want to just squat, you know, take a seat outside of my car. I got a chair. All right, let's go around to the other side. What do I have? Do I have anything down here? Uh, just some... I got a fan. I got a... That has D batteries, but the only thing with that thing, man, is I need to find something to charge my D batteries with. So... All right, to this side. <clears throat> so this box right now is flipped this way because I'm going to do DoorDash in a little bit. And when I'm, so I put the food in there so I'm not getting anything back here, food, and I got my seat up so I can't put the food there. So I put all the DoorDash food in this box. But when I go to sleep, I flip this box upside, upside down and so I can put my pillow on top of here. So I have just that much more space when I'm laying down. I don't have to put my feet diagonal. I can actually put them all the way back without hitting the back hatch. And then down here, I got some propane tanks. I got a jacket right here, some more jackets. I usually put my uh, shampoo and conditioner or just whatever I need in general right here. Up here, I got a plate my cast iron pan the rag that i kind of wiped the, the pan down with i got a kind of like an old school lantern that you can put oil in so that's pretty cool i haven't used that yet and yeah i mean it's pretty simple i got this set up about a week ago so there's still a lot more that i can do to it per se um i want to get some good lights that I can put around here. I need a battery, I need an inverter. I mean, there's a lot of different things that I can get for this per se. And honestly, if anybody has any suggestions, just comment down below what you think and what I should get and what would definitely help out because I'm new to this and, you know, I definitely need as much help as I can get. So, so yeah, comment down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, well, I don't think I told you what this kind of car this is. It's a 2010 Ford Edge all-wheel drive. Uh, had 60,000 miles and peace.